Accessory dwelling units, ADUs. They're the perfect solution for increasing your property value and generate passive rental income. Whether you call it a multi-generational space, a coach house, a casita, a cabana, or even a home office or a studio, an ADU is a smart way to get more functional interior square footage out of your current home. When you are building an ADU, one thing you'll certainly want to keep in mind is comfort. And when it comes to heating and air conditioning, nothing matches the comfort and value of a ductless mini split system. After all, ductless mini splits are the affordable, energy efficient way to heat and cool your ADU. So what are your options? Let's go over two common floor plan designs for ADUs and take a look at the different options that you have for heating and cooling. Let's start with two pre-approved ADU plans from San Jose. Since most ADUs are around 800 square feet, your ADU is probably very similar to these designs. We'll take a look at general layouts, options, and our recommendations based on years of experience as California's leading provider and installer of ductless mini split systems. By the end of this brief video, you'll be able to use D-Air's proven methods for determining the right HVAC system for your ADU. For most ADUs, we recommend using ductless mini splits. D-Air does not recommend a traditional central air conditioner for an ADU because ductwork is expensive to run and it takes up valuable space in the attic. And think about this, most ADU designs incorporate a floor to ceiling height that is as tall as possible to give the space the illusion of being much bigger than just 800 square feet. Obviously, the more attic space you take up, the more money you'll need to pay for materials and space that, well, frankly, you just can't use. We see it all the time. People building ADUs don't stop to consider the extra materials and labor needed to build attic spaces for their HVAC system, which is considerably even more expensive than the HVAC system itself. Okay, so let's take a look at our first floor plan. Here we see a two bedroom, two bath ADU with a living room and kitchen. Technically, we only need to have a heating source in the living room, so installing just one unit in the living room is the least expensive option. Based on the design and layout, here are three different HVAC options. One, 18,000 BTU mini split in the living room, either high wall unit or ceiling cassette, a three zone high wall mini split system, nine plus nine plus 12, a three zone mini split system, nine plus nine plus 12. For the bedrooms, we can use high wall units and for the living room, we can use a ceiling cassette. This first option is the least expensive. It typically runs between $3,000 and $6,000, depending on the exact system that you choose. Here's how it works. You'll have just one larger unit located in the living room, and since the space is quite small, you can open up the doors in the bedrooms and still get cool air as well as heat inside the rooms. But the one downside of this approach it's pretty limited when it comes to privacy, so it's not ideal if the ADU will be used by more than one person. Option two is the most common option. Here we recommend a three zone mini split system. Typically we would use either Mitsubishi, Daikin, or Fujitsu as they make some of the most reliable products on the market. In 2022, this cost should run between about $10,000 and $14,000. Finally, the third option is a combination of high wall and ceiling cassette units. Most people will only have guests in their living room area, and they'll want to make that space as beautiful as possible. As a result, many of our customers choose to have a ceiling cassette in the living room and high wall units in each of the bedrooms. This option will range between $11,000 and $15,000, depending on the brand that you choose. Okay, that was the first floor plan. Now we'll take a quick look at the second floor plan. For this one, you'll notice that although the layout is different from the first one, you still have the same three options for your mini splits. The layout doesn't really affect your choices that much since we are mostly concerned about the size of each room and the zones for each mini split system. So those are some possible floor plans. Now let's talk about your personal customized ADU project. Here are a few things to consider ahead of time. First, consider setbacks. What are setbacks? Well, setbacks determine exactly where you can place your unit's condenser. Every city has its own setback requirements, so be sure to check them before installing your air conditioner. Of course, at D-Air, we're experts when it comes to installation. We handle all of the details in detail, including compliance with your city's setback rules. Next, consider the right phase of when to bring in the HVAC contractor. 
For new construction projects, you should involve the HVAC contractor as soon as framing and roofing is completed. Your major trades, mechanical, electrical, and plumbing should do their work inside the walls and ceiling before you close up the drywall. This phase is called rough-in. You should involve the HVAC contractor as early in the project as possible, since there may be lead time in acquiring the equipment and materials needed for the installation. And remember, your HVAC contractor will work in two phases. In the rough end phase, they'll install the indoor units, run the copper line sets, and run the electrical and water lines. And after you have completed the exterior stucco or other surface treatment, your HVAC contractor will then install the outdoor condenser unit and start up your new system. A word about communication? Hey, it's incredibly important to communicate on a regular basis with your mechanical, electrical, and plumbing trades so that there's a smooth transition between the work phases and so that your project can move forward as fast as possible. All right, almost done. Let's wrap things up. As we've seen, most two-bedroom ADU projects generally have three options for mini splits. One 18,000 BTU mini split in the living room, either high wall unit or ceiling cassette. This option runs about $3,000 to $6,000. A three-zone high wall mini split system, 9 plus 9 plus 12. This solution runs from about $10,000 and $14,000. Or a three-zone mini split system, 9 plus 9 plus 12. For the bedrooms, we recommend using high wall units. And for the living room, we recommend a ceiling gazette. Total cost, from about $11,000 to $16,000. Oh, and for those of you considering a garage conversion for your ADU, a popular choice, here's our most common mini split configuration for that. Most garage conversions have around 400 square feet of space. In these cases, we recommend installing a 12,000 BTU high wall mini split. The cost of these systems is affordable, ranging from $2,500 to $4,000, including installation. Overall, a garage conversion typically leads to the creation of what most people would call a large studio. Since the space is open, you'll only need one mini split unit for the entire space. And if you have an electrical service panel nearby, you can use a 220 volt system. Otherwise, a 115 volt system from Michubishi or Fujitsu will also work very well for your garage conversion space. And that's it. You are now a ductless mini split expert, or at least you're on your way to becoming one. If you're in California and you're considering building an ADU or converting an existing garage into additional functional interior space, give us a call at 408-326-2151. If you are currently designing your ADU and want a free HVAC evaluation, you can send us your sketches or floor plans to our email at sales at dairconditioning.com. Our HVAC engineers are happy to review your project and give you the best system design for your ADU. This is a completely free offer, which we are offering to all California residences, even if you do not live in an area that we service. At D Air Conditioning, we are the mini split experts, offering the top 12 best brands on the market. Stop by our showrooms in San Jose and Orange County, California. Our team of ductless mini split pros are ready to help you through any project. From all of us at D Air Conditioning, thanks for watching. Now go build that perfect ADU.